making our headlines for you today. Here it is Sunday the 22nd of August. Our top story this morning, chaos continues at Kabul airport as thousands gather anxious to board flights out of the country. It's been reported that some needed medical help after being crushed. Americans hoping to leave Afghanistan have been told not to travel to the airport amid concerns about the potential for attacks by Islamic State militants. Meanwhile, efforts to evacuate British citizens and Afghans who supported the UK continue. Nearly 4,000 people have now been flown out of Afghanistan since last Sunday, as Simon Jones reports. Now, the former Prime Minister Tony Blair has called President Biden's decision to withdraw troops from Afghanistan imbecilic. He says it represents a tragic, dangerous and unnecessary abandonment of the country. Well, Mr Blair, who sent troops to Afghanistan two decades ago, has urged the government to help all Afghans who supported the UK, calling it a moral obligation. Our political correspondent, Chris Mason, has the details. Uh, much more on the situation in Afghanistan coming up throughout the programme, but let's have a look at some of the other news this morning, because adults in the UK who test positive for COVID-19 will be invited to take part in a new programme that aims to find out more about the effectiveness of vaccinations. Now, from Tuesday, up to 8,000 volunteers a day will be sent two antibody tests to do at home. Chichi Azundu has got the details. At least eight people have died in the state of Veracruz as Hurricane Grace tore through eastern Mexico, causing widespread disruption. Meanwhile, in the United States, a state of emergency has been declared in parts of New York state as Hurricane Henry is expected to make landfall later today. Our reporter Tanya Dandrinos has more. Now, it's uh, just approaching 12 minutes past six. Let's return to our main story this morning, the ongoing crisis in Afghanistan. Thousands of people have been rushing to Kabul airport each day, desperate to flee the country following the Taliban's takeover. I mean, the pictures coming out of Afghanistan really are terrible. The United States has told its citizens to stay away because of potential security threats from Islamic State militants. Communications aid to former Secretary of State in the US, John Kerry. Suddenly got quite warm in here, Ben. <laughs> I wonder what. Now let's take a look at today's papers. Let's have a look at some of the insides. Uh, and there's a great story here. If you are in Whitby, you may well know that this is a little bugbear. Um, where is Dracula's grave? Well, bats in our belfry. No vampire is going to come and suck your blood, they say. <laughs> so if you go to Whitby, do not ask where the grave of Dracula may be. Just Love warning you. A bit too early for <laughs> sucking blood, I think. <laughs> but um, in case you've seen a train derailing in Derbyshire, fear not to be in this film, and I can't wait to be it. I wonder whether there were any calls to the emergency services, if anyone did spot that. Who if knows? you're out walking and you kind of see a train plummet off a viaduct like that. Um, I want to show you this one as well. Uh, sad news, not the cats dressed up, this one. Um, I used it to iron a shirt once. I don't think that's technically what they're supposed to be used for, but nonetheless, uh, the Trouser Press launched in the 1960s. Described in the adverts as man's best friend. It says here, common feature in the hotel rooms. Not anymore. Uh, but uh, yes, sad news. Peter Corby, the man who lent his name and his invention to the world, has died at the age of 97. And if you want to have a look at the cats, quickly, look at the cats dressed up as cool <laughs> stuff. I have to tell you about the cats. Uh, Game of Thrones. I'd That's say something very controversial. Person. I'm not a cat person. Are you a cat person? Not really, more of a dog person. Yeah, me too. I do love dogs. Not saying I don't like cats, but prefer dogs. You can't sit on the fence like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, empowering and exhilarating. That's how a group of new mums have described taking part in a photo shoot whilst breastfeeding. Yeah, the women say that they want to highlight the challenges faced by many new parents, as Vicky Johnson reports. <laughs> 